What's going on guys? It's your boy Terry White Reacts here and I am back with another Evangelion episode 4 here and we're about to jump into it. Um, As you guys know, these reactions are on the Google Drive so be prepared to hit that link, okay? Um, If you guys are having trouble, I think a I think like one person or so was saying that there was this limit view or something like that like they couldn't view it i think it was on my code gas reaction but if that's this if that's the situation if any of you guys that are watching this reaction come across that situation um it's a situation that i can solve but it's really not on my end because there's unlimited views for these videos there's no limitations on how many people can go there and watch these videos so it's got to be something on you guys end uh, but if you are having this trouble i can send you a new link to the video it's no problem um just let me know okay um but yeah so now that we get that out of the way okay so we have evangelion episode four and episode three we got a lot more insight on how Shinji is actually dealing with this issue of him just being thrown in this situation, his dad not caring, and all of this other. There's so many facets to this to this anime that you really got to look at it from a psychological standpoint because it's not a quote-unquote action anime. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not about that. It's not about... um necessarily a hero you know what i'm saying like in his own sense he is a hero because he does have the sense because he actually saved his classmate from you know them being there when they're not supposed to be there um so in a sense you know he is a hero but at the same time he doesn't want to be in the he, 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 he's asking himself this question which is why am i here why did i get back into this thing you know what i'm saying why did i get back into the eva but we're gonna see how these characters develop i don't have much to say right now about what's going on but as we get deeper into it i imagine that i'm going to have a lot more to talk about um for my in for these intros and stuff like that and for my reviews but for now there's not that much to talk about but i love these these kind of animes i love things that make me think and use my brain to figure stuff out and in every anime you have this aspect and some of them not so much you know <clears throat> yeah <laughs> yeah there's so many animes out there that is just completely about fan service you know start out really good um to give you guys an example of an anime that i really that i really loved and they kind of messed it up you know what I'm saying? Sword Art Online, SAL, right? If you guys have suggested it, I've already talked about some of the animes that I already watched, um, some of the popular ones that I've already watched. So I don't know which video it was, but um, if you want to know, just let me know. I'll put it in um, the description of a video or, or something like that. I'll let you guys know. Or just go to the Discord and ask me. Okay, so... Uh, in Sword Art Online, it started out really good. A lot of people did not like the second half of that first season of Sword Art Online because it took him out of the game. He beat the game. He beat the dude that was keeping them in the game. And he got out, and then it became all about the, the romantic stuff of him meeting um, the girl. I don't want to say names. It's been a long time since I watched it. I don't know the name is Kirito, but... Um, yeah, him meeting the girl in the game and then outside of the outside of the game because they fell in love in the game came out. You know what I'm saying? And he went to look for the girl. You know what I'm saying? So I enjoyed the second half of the season because I am a hopeless romantic. I love stuff like that. I love to see them extend upon certain things that happen. It's not just about fighting 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 all of that stuff was enjoyable the story was very good the build-up was very good for that first season um um but the second half of the season a lot of people don't like it and i understand that it's not the popular opinion it's not the popular way to go you get what i'm saying and that's why it might be they they said they could have done a lot more with the second half of the season 
right? Um, and that's what a lot of people are saying. Why didn't they do more fighting? And why didn't why did they make him beat the game so early? And all of this other stuff. And I'm like, listen, man. Sometimes a writer. It's not all about the fighting. Sometimes they want to explore a different aspect and see how the audience receives it. And that's what happened. I loved it. I loved every minute of SAO season one. Now, season two is a whole different story, mind you. But, you know, I've, I haven't watched anything past season two. I haven't watched the entire thing because I know um, there's still some, some, as, some seasons that are going on some other things that are going on with it but i have never watched past season past, past season two um so that's what i'm trying to say sometimes the, the 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 writer of a story just wants to show you that there's i can write a love story along you can mix the two which is you know kind of what evangelion is all about it's the psychological aspect it's not about it's not about romance but it's like Something that makes you think, even though there's going to be action, as as I've talked about the animation, the just a small amount of animation that we had is just very fluid. Um, surprisingly, from back then, you had such fluid animation because usually it's always like, you know what I'm saying? If you go back and watch certain Dragon Ball um, fights from back in the day, even in Dragon Ball Z, if you compare it, if you really sit down and actually watch those fights, those fights were trash, man. It comes down to animation. The animation was so terrible, but at that time, it was, like, so exciting because you're like, oh, Super Saiyan, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So it was exciting to know about that stuff. So it was awesome nonetheless. But if you go back, it's just like if you go back and watch cartoons that you used to watch back in the day like oh my god this shit is trash bro why did i watch this but as a kid um as an adult those things are not going to wow you anymore but when you were a kid watching it it was awesome like if you go back and watch power rangers now like the first season of power ranger i remembered the first season of power rangers the first ever Power Rangers, right? You're talking about Jason, Tommy, Kimberly. Um, what's her name? I, I can't even remember the, the Yellow Ranger. You had Kimberly, you got Zack. You know what I'm saying? Billy. You know what I'm saying? The first Power Rangers. I remember back in the day. If I watched that junk, I've, I, I've went and watched some of those episodes like when I was an adult. And I was like, oh my God, why are they jumping before the fucking explosion? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, why are they jumping before they explode? Like, you don't notice that stuff as a kid. But now you're seeing it, and you're noticing it, and you're like, oh my god, this shit was trash, bro. But it was so fun watching that as a kid, and even now, you know what I'm saying? The Power Rangers is still going on, and I stopped watching it a long time ago, because I was like, man, they need to get these coordinations right before I can get back into Power Rangers. But... You understand, you get what I'm saying. It's just that, that those times, man, you know, it was just, you just enjoy things for what it is. But now it's like, because I've grown up to have an ad analytical mind, it's like everything I look at now, now I got to be a little bit judgmental about it. Like, what is this teaching me? As a person of my, uh, of my age, I'm not just looking for pure, explicit entertainment, even though I still love it you get what i'm saying like what's the meaning behind it? everything i watch now i'm looking for the meaning behind it can i look at this and find something as a parallel in real life that's how i look at everything now because i do not like to waste time so man let's jump into this episode man this i dragged this damn intro out for too long anyways but if you had the time to listen hey man kudos you probably clicked the link already but it's okay let's jump into this episode four man off evangelion i'm so happy to jump into this remember link in the description go watch it on the google drive join me on the google drive right now and watch this episode man thank you guys for watching as always it's your boy terabyte reacts see you for the review All right, so I just finished watching episode four of Evangelion, and to say the least, um, there was a lot 
to dive in. And I know if you're just watching this as a person new coming in, expecting a lot, you're going to be wondering a lot about a lot of stuff that happened in this episode because it wasn't if you paid attention to a, to to actually watch the episode you kind of see what's going on what i got from my perspective and seeing this episode and from the get go the way how they set up the episode him running away um from home trying to well we're not one not home at first it was a home because he called it that in the end but at first it was like she she really really um you can understand how she, how Misato how she feels about this whole situation and they were kind of trying to show things from her perspective in this episode which is which is um unusual for animes to go from the main protagonist and showing you something from a different point of point of view i know other animes do it but um this was some i want to say it is it was for you to dive deep and understand something from a, from a, from another person's perspective from her perspective being the the um him um her taking him in and being that mother or older sister figure to him um over the course of the small amount of time that that he has spent with her she he has had an impact on her for her to care where he is because she could have been like man forget this dude let's go find somebody else you know even when um she was talk she was talking about what happened after the last event right after they defeated the last angel in the last episode she was talking about it and she was like man I guess we don't really need somebody that's like that in the EVA because for everything she was saying to him, it was like, why didn't you follow my or my orders? You should be following my orders. And all he kept saying is yes. If you're going to be a yes man, I don't want you around me, period. And that's just how she feels. That's how she feels about it. If you're going to be a yes man, just don't do it. Just, just, just don't do it. I, In a certain way, she wants him to defy her when it's necessary, and, but she doesn't want, he's like, so what does it matter? We won. You know what I'm saying? But she doesn't want that kind of attitude because it could be that you lose your life. You get what I'm saying? So she don't want somebody in the EVA that's, you know, who prefers to die rather than, you know what I'm saying? She wants you to save the world, but at the same time, she doesn't want you to die. And that's how I feel like her relationship with him grew throughout this episode because she was actively thinking about him, even though, you know, she's only known him for a small amount of time. So from her perspective is what they were showing this this episode from. And I totally dig that because I wanted to get to know these characters that they're introducing. You can't just can't. I don't I don't want them to just concentrate on Shinji, even though he was an integral part of this episode. His classmate showed up, which is which was really dope. Them caring just out of knowing him for that, you know, him missing from school for five days. Um, they came to see if he was OK because they knew what he went through because he because they were there with him. You know what I'm saying? So that was pretty deep, too. Um so there's a lot that happened in this episode that I really, really loved, man. It, it was a dope episode. Um, definitely was a dope episode, man. I, I liked it a lot. Um, you know, even though I hope you guys didn't mind me trying to get something to eat because um, I'm going to be sitting here for the next four hours reacting to stuff. So deal with it. <laughs> okay. Um, I made sure I muted the mic. So. Um, so you didn't hear me chewing or anything in the mic. So it was disgusting. It's just you just saw my mouth movements and I made sure to keep my mouth closed when I was eating. So I hope you guys didn't mind that too much because um, I just came in and just let's get it right. So because I had to try to grab something while I was doing that just now because I was really, really hungry. But this episode man i really liked it i really liked it it's you know story development character development is very important when you come when it comes on to 
telling telling a a story right so and even in anime i love it i love it i love it i love it you know i really dig it and just to show you what shinji is actually going through because it's like the choices he's making he's like he doesn't really know what he really wants you get what i'm saying because he was thrown in this situation that is completely out of his control does he want to do it if he doesn't do it they're gonna throw um what's her name into the damn thing into the eva they don't give a shit she she's just like a freaking robot around here it's like she got bandages all over and if they say it's go time she's ready to go and i'm like what did they do to this kid you know what i'm saying but i think that's factoring in in shinji's decision also to stay so that was pretty it was pretty um at the end of the episode where she taught they, they they actually took him to send him back i don't know if they're taking him back sending him back to um if he decided to go or whatever the situation is um and he decided not to so misato is pretty she was pretty happy about that so but it was a pretty pretty good episode man i really liked it but thank you guys for watching man so that's my synopsis on this episode if you want to say that um definitely definitely looking forward to the other episodes man it was a dope one this one so tell me guys um get down in the comment section man all you evangelion fans over here i love the fact that you guys are liking the videos but you're not leaving no comments on these videos man you guys love the series so much don't spoil anything for me but let me know if you're enjoying these reactions man at least let me know that i know some of y'all are doing it but i'm talking about you guys who are, who are out there watching the video and not leaving a comment on the video man leave a comment man i love to interact with you guys in the comment section man it's it's dope tell me what you think the first time you watched this episode what did you think of it what did you think this episode this specific episode what did you think of it that's what i want to know in the comment section on this video okay so see you guys for the next one man um for episode five um that will be out on thursday so make sure you look out for that thank you guys for listening and a lot <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. As always, leave a like, leave a comment on this video. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell or join the Discord link down in the description, okay? Great community over there. We're almost, I think we're at 50-something members over there now Um, in the Discord. I'm hoping more of y'all will come over to the Discord and start having great um, conversations, um, discussions, and, and so on. And so forth. Thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. And peace. See you for the next one, man.